In Regina's heritage neighborhood, homes from the early 1900s often have lead-contaminated drinking water. Shana Stock doesn't have lead plumbing, so the culprit is clear. The city's lead pipe that delivers water to her house. I've been in this house for 10 years now, and the letter we got last year was the first I had ever heard about there potentially being lead in the water, so it was a bit surprising to get that letter. The city of Regina offers free lead testing, but it's voluntary. They take 11 samples. Stock's lead levels were three times higher than what's considered safe. Not unusual, it turns out. The tainted water investigation collected 12,000 test results from drinking water in 11 cities. A third exceeded safe lead levels. Bruce Lamphere is a lead toxicity expert who consulted on the project. For too long we've sort of just looked the other way. We haven't required municipalities to test. Uh, for lead contamination in the water, and so it's been overlooked. So this is the filter. The city of Regina gives homeowners free water filters, a cheap alternative to the real solution, removing all those lead service lines. It only rips out about 100 a year. At that pace, it would be 20 to 25 years, but we are looking to accelerate that. In comparison, the city of Montreal has pledged to remove 48,000 lead service lines over the next 11 years. The city is going to test 100,000 buildings for lead levels. It will also force homeowners to replace lead pipes on their private property. It's about public health. Regina has no plans to go that far. Shana Stock has no idea when the city will rip out the lead pipe that delivers this water. Um. It's concerning. Stock wants more testing and more transparency from the city. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.